I mean, my student, we have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The Peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then. Yes and no. He dreamed, still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. Bring that to your master, then. It contains everything you asked for. Your assistance in this most delicate of matters is greatly appreciated. It is my job to keep the peace. And keep it you will. You'll have no trouble from us. It's not you and yours that concern me, but the citizens. You picked a strange time to visit our city. We've simply come to pay our respects. And stir up trouble for it. It's not my fault your people can't tell enemy from friend. Look, you've got what you came for. I think it's best you were on your way. blood of those we once called friends. We have all suffered because of this. But now, now we are offered a chance at redemption. A chance to no, begin anew. Let us make peace with the Crusaders. Let us live as one. We must be strong, we must be brave, and we must find the courage to face those we once called our enemies and now instead call them friends. The Crusaders come to Jerusalem bringing with them an opportunity to end the fighting, to stop the war. That we may stand as one, we must not turn them away. No, please don't leave! You'll regret that! Ölüler birbirleriyle görüşmemeli. You <gülüyor> 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 
speak of peace, but your words are hollow. No. I speak the truth. Why would you say other? You're a Templar. So I am? Then you are also a liar and a fraud. Just like your master. Where is he? What does he intend? It's peace he seeks, I swear it. And the proof is in his actions. A Christian at a Muslim's funeral. We want an end to all of this. Only because it serves your needs. But this is a noble thing we want. The land will be united beneath... Our banner. United through force. You'd enslave us all. It is for the best. No, it's not. And so long as my brothers and I breathe, you will not succeed. See that the guards are placed accordingly. We'll be safe enough during the procession. It's the burial that worries me. Easy for our enemies to hide amongst the crowd. If you're so concerned, why not post your own men? Search the site yourselves. Our presence here has caused enough chaos. I can only imagine how the people would react, seeing Crusader soldiers marching across their holy ground. Then perhaps you should not attend at all. He was our friend and brother and we will honor him as he passes from this world. You insult me by suggesting otherwise. I'll post the men. I don't want trouble either. Then stop trying to make it, and do as you've been asked. Safety and peace, Altair. Upon you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. Robert de Sable is in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights myself. Only misfortune follows that man. I won't give him the chance to continue his campaign. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of that. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me. But there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together, united by this man. Robert has designs upon the land. This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and Saracens working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No. Their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. You spin a strange tale. You have no idea, Malik. Then tell me. Robert and his Templars walk the city. They've come to pay their respects to Mejduddin. They'll attend his funeral, which means so will I. What is this that Templars would attend his funeral? I have yet to divine their true intentions, though I'll have a confession in time. The citizens themselves are divided. Many call for their lives. Still others insist that they are here to parley, to make peace. Peace? I told you. The others I've slain have said as much to me. That would make them our allies. And yet we killed them. Make no mistake, we are nothing like these men. Though their goal sounds noble, the means by which they'd achieve it are not. At least, that's what Al-Mu'allam told me. So what is your plan? I'll attend the funeral and confront Robert. The sooner the better. Fortune favor your blade, brother. Malik, before I go, there's something I should say. Be out with it. I've been a fool. Normally I'd make no argument, but what is this? 
What are you talking about? All this time, I never told you I was sorry. Too damn proud. You lost your arm because of me. Lost Qadr. You had every right to be angry. I do not accept your apology. I understand. No, you don't. I do not accept your apology because you are not the same man who went with me into Solomon's temple. And so you have nothing to apologize for. Malik. Perhaps if I had not been so envious of you, I would not have been so careless myself. I'm just as much to blame. Don't say such things. We are one. As we share the glory of our victories, so too should we share the pain of our defeat. In this way, we grow closer. We grow stronger. Thank you, brother. Rest if you need to, Altair, that you might be ready for what lies ahead. <laughs>